Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon movesets video. Today's video is going to be all about Magmortar, so let's get started by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Magmortar is a Fire-type Pokemon introduced into Generation 4 as the evolution of Magmar, and has access to two abilities, the first of which being Flame Body, which is an ability that gives this Pokemon a chance to burn opposing attackers that are making use of contact moves. But its second ability, which is its hidden ability, is known as Vital Spirit, which prevents this Pokemon from being put to sleep. As for its stats though, it has a base 75 HP stat, 67 defense stat, and 95 special defense stat, allowing this Pokemon to be decently bulky, especially considering it is a fire type, which can burn opposing attackers quite easily to allow it to take physical hits better from them. But offensively, this Pokemon is really great, possessing a base 95 physical attack, a base 125 special attack, and a base 83 speed stat, allowing this Pokemon to hit very hard with physical and special attacks, and also having a pretty nice speed stat to be made use of to allow it to run a very effective either scarfed set or speed boosting set, which it has a couple that it can make use of. But despite all of this, this Pokemon currently finds itself in the PU tier. So with that, let's take a look at the first moveset that I have for you in this video. So for this first moveset, we're going to be running Magmortar as a very deadly special attacker with a ton of type coverage. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Tibid Nature to boost its speed but lower its physical attack, going with either the Flame Body or Vital Spirit ability depending on your preferences, and an EV spread of 4 defense, 252 special attack, and 252 speed EVs to max out its special attack and speed stats. And for the item on this set, there are quite a few options we can go with, with the first being a Life Orb to boost the power of all of our attacks at the cost of losing 10% of our health every time we damage an opponent, a choice Scarf to increase our speed while locking us into a move, choice Specs to increase our special attack while locking us into a move, Grass EMZ to be used specifically in combination with Solar Beam, or an Assault Vest to give us Pokemon some added special defense, which will increase its bulk significantly even on a more offensive set like this one. But for the moves, our main fire type attack is going to be either Fire Blast or Lava Plume. Fire Blast obviously for the greater power that it provides, but Lava Plume is another interesting option to consider as well in the fact that it is a bit weaker but it has a greater chance to burn opponents, which can be very useful if you are able to get that burn chance. But in addition to this, we're then going to run Thunderbolt and Focus Blast as some really good type coverage options to give us Pokemon a variety of ways of hitting other Pokemon super effectively with its powerful special attack stat. And then for the last move slot, running a Grass coverage move in the form of Hidden Power Grass or Solar Beam if you want to go ahead and use that with Grass EMZ as your item because this will completely ignore the charge turn of Solar Beam and just give you a ridiculously powerful Bloom Doom that's going to be hitting things for some very powerful damage. But you could also interestingly enough run Psychic on the set for a more unique coverage option that can be very useful to pack on a set like this one. As for this next move set, we're going to be turning Magmortar into a powerful boosting special sweeper. So we're going to start this one off by going with either a Timid Nature to boost its speed but lower its physical attack, or a Naive Nature to boost its speed but lower its special defense, going with either the Flame Body or Vital Spirit ability depending on your own preference, and the same EV spread as before to max out our special attack and our speed stat. But for the item, a Life Orb and Grass EMZ are here again, just like on the previous move set. But we could also run Fear EMZ on this set as well to either give you a super powerful fire type attack to make use of, or a very interesting way of boosting your speed when used in combination with one of the first move options on the set, which is that of Sunny Day. Because when you use Sunny Day with Fear EMZ, you will actually set up the sun and get yourself a plus one speed boost, which will give this Pokemon some greater offensive presence, especially by powering up its fire type moves, and then also giving it access to a one turn solar beam because it doesn't have the charge turn or have to use Grass EMZ as well. But if you want to boost your speed another way, Flame Charge is definitely the best way to do it, as this will allow you to damage your opponent while you simultaneously boost your speed stat, which can be very useful, and it is recommended to run the Naive Nature if you do use this move because it is a physical attack. But again, Fire Blast is going to be our main stab fire type move, and then running either Thunderbolt or Focus Blast in your second attacking move slot, really, to give you some additional type coverage, and finally, either Focus Blast, Hidden Power Grass, Solar Beam, or Psychic for your last move slot, just to round out your type coverage. And as I mentioned before, running Sunny Day with Fire Blast and Solar Beam, along with Fury Z and either Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, or Psychic, can be a great combination to allow this Pokemon to deal massive amounts of damage while the sun is up on the battlefield. As for this next move set, we're going to be running Magmortar physically offensive. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Jolly Nature to boost its speed but lower its special attack, going with the Flame Body or Vital Spirit ability, and an EV spread this time of 252 physical attack, 
4 defense, and 252 speed EVs to max out its physical attack and its speed stat. And for the item on the set, going with either an expert belt to increase the damage of super effective moves, a life orb to increase the damage of all of your attacks at the cost of losing 10% of our health every time we damage your opponent, a choice band to boost the power of our physical attacks while locking us into a move, or an assault vest like before to give us some added special bulk. But for the move, since this is a physical set, Flare Blitz is going to be our main stab fire type attack, and then along with this, we're going to run either Thunder Punch or Rock Slide in our second move slot to give us Pokemon additional type coverage and work possibly in combination with our third move, which is that of Earthquake, because if you do that in combination with Rock Slide, you get that really great rock ground coverage, but for this Pokemon specifically, it does help out a lot to have that electric type coverage against opposing water types that might come in to try and wall you. But for your last move slot, there are quite a few options to allow this set to work in many different ways. The first one is by going a Flame Charge, which obviously, like before, will be increasing your speed stat, making this Pokemon a little bit more threatening of a physical attacker. We could also run Power Up Punch on this set as well if you transfer this Pokemon over, um, because this will be boosting our physical attack by one stage every time we go for it. We could run Mock Punch to give us a priority fighting type attack, which can be very useful. And lastly, we could even run Screech on this moveset to give us Pokemon a way of lowering its opponent's physical defense by two stages, and thus allowing its physical attacks to hit them even harder than they normally would be able to. As for this next moveset, we're going to be running Magmortar with Belly Drum to enhance its physical attack considerably. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Jolly Nature to boost its speed but lower its special attack going with Flame Body or Vital Spirit again, and then for the EV spread this time, putting 4 into its HP, 252 into its physical attack, and 252 EVs into its speed stat, to give it its maximum physical attack and speed possible, while also then making its HP number divisible by 2 or 4, depending on how you want to use the set with what berry you go with, which your options for this are a Citrus Berry, which will activate once you fall at or below 50% of your health, a Figgy Berry, which will activate once you fall below 25% of your health, or at 25%, or a Salak Berry on the set to increase your speed stat when you fall below 25% of your health. And to do this, our main attack, obviously, to allow this set to work is going to be Belly Drum, which is going to maximize our physical attack, and thus allow Magmortar to do a ton of damage with its physical attacking moves. And for those, our main stab fire type attack is either going to be flame charge, which is a kind of weak option, but will be pretty powerful with having the plus six physical attack, but will also be boosting your speed stat every single time you damage an opponent with it, essentially turning this into kind of like a double boosting set. But if you want a stronger physical attack, Fire Punch is definitely the way to go. We're not going to go with Flare Blitz on the set because we're already losing so much HP from Belly Drum, so the recoil wouldn't really help us out too much. But in addition to this, then we're going to run Thunder Punch or Earthquake for additional type coverage to allow this Pokemon to hit a couple of things super effectively that would normally wall its regular fire type attacks. And then for your last move, either going full coverage with Earthquake or going with Substitute on the set, which could give you that sub belly drum combination, which would then automatically activate your Figgy or Salak Berry depending upon what you want to use on the set. But overall, Magmortar with Belly Drum can be incredibly powerful and allow it to deal a lot of damage with its physical attacks. Finally, for the last moveset of this video, we're going to be running Magmortar as a specially defensive wall. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a calm nature to increase its special defense but lower its physical attack, go with the flame body ability for that extra chance to burn opposing attackers, and an EV spread of 192 HP, 252 special defense, and 64 speed EVs to give us Pokemon its maximum special defense, a significant amount of HP investment, and enough speed to outspeed base 90 speed Pokemon it falls just short of outspeeding. And finally, for the item, going with Leftovers, as this is a more defensive set, to allow us that recovery at the end of every turn. But for your moves on this set, the first thing that we're going to go with is either going to be Taunt, as a way of preventing our opponents from using any non-attacking moves, whether those moves be to be used for statusing this Pokemon or its teammates, or recovering its own health or setting up hazards, or going with Protect, which has a lot of synergy on the set for a variety of reasons, in that you can not only stall out for your own leftovers recovery and allow you to regain it for free, basically, but also allow you to stall out for some residual damage, which you can get on the set in a variety of ways, whether it be through the burn from Flame Body, the 30% chance to burn from Lava Plume, which is your main fire type stab attack on the set, Toxic, which will be increasing in damage at the end of every turn, which you can protect stall for, or even Fire Spin, which you can use to trap your opponents and protect stall for as well, to make them take a lot of damage at the end of every turn as well. But for your last attack, we're going to be going with Hidden Power Grass, which is going to give us Pokemon some really great type coverage in combination with this Fire Stab, to allow it to hit a lot of things super effectively that would normally come in to threaten its Fire Typing, such as Rock, Ground, and Water Type moves. 
But with this overall, this set can really function especially well if you do use it with Wish support as Magmortar doesn't have a reliable recovery move outside of Leftovers or Protect in that sense, so that's probably going to be the most efficient way to use especially defensive Magmortar on its own as well, as it will be a Pokemon that can take special attacks very well and have a lot that it can do back to its opponents in the process. But anyways everybody, that is it for this video on Magmortar, so thank you all for watching, and as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.